A day without laughter is a day wasted. With this beautiful quote, let us start, start today's class. In the previous class, we were discussing about animal cell. Under the heading animal cell, we were discussing about muscle cells, nerve cells, gland cells and skin cells. How these cells are different and also we have discussed about the functions of the cell. Let me remind you once again what is the definition for a cell. A cell is a single structural functional unit of all organisms. Whether it is plants or animals or apes, birds are also known as apes, reptiles, any other creature it has started from living cell. In today's class let us discuss about animal cell. So animal cell, this is a picture, picture of animal cell, right? When you see an uh, animal cell, when you just take a cell, so this is the complete structure of animal cell. If you take any of your skin and place it in a microscope and observe, this is all what the internal cell organs you will find. So this is a diagram. Let me write the diagram here. First, outer cover of the cell is known as cell membrane. Right? The outer layer margin, right? It is scientifically termed as cell membrane or it is also known as plasma membrane. Structure 
is cell. Inside that we call and complete these things as cell organelles. We call it as cell organelles. Cell structure inside it there are cell organelles. So now we will study about cell membrane in detail. It is the cell membrane which is also known as plasma membrane and this is selectively permeable membrane. Not all the food water you need will come to the cell. Not all the molecules which can absorb into the cell but only selected molecules are allowed to enter into the cytoplasm. It's a molecular level and hence cell membrane also called plasma membrane. Also one more word is there. Selectively permeable membrane. Selectively permeable membrane. Selectively means it selects not all the molecules are allowed to enter into the cytoplasm. Right? It should be very small, minute. It can enter, diffuse into it all the activities. Very thin, the cell membrane is very very thin, delicate, right? And flexible, it's not rigid, rigid fixed, it is flexible, it may change. Living structure present in both animal and plants. It's a cell present in both plants and animals. There are fine pores which are found on the cell membrane. The fine pores which are present in this plasma membrane, cell membrane, selectively permeable membrane. You might have doubt, you might have doubt or doubt that why these pores are found on the cells. I told you that cell membrane is also called selectively permeable. Say for example any of the molecules what we eat, it may be the glucose or something, it comes near to cell membrane. So there are some pores here. So through this pores slowly, depending on the smaller size only, they will allow you to get into the cytoplasm. Then this will reach to particular nucleus or polyapparatus or mitochondria to some do some activities. Then that will be reached to the cell. It will be converted and given energy to the cells of the organs. So dear students. Of course, biology seems to be easy, but you should sit with the textbooks and understand the concepts. And moreover, these terminologies are very new to you. Let me repeat once again. This is the structure of the animal cell. And inside that, what are all the present, they call it as cell organelles. I'll repeat, cell organelles. Outer layer is called cell membrane also called plasma membrane, also it is called as selectively permeable membrane. Why? Because it selects, not all the materials it allow, allows into the cytoplasm. It selects only depending upon the lower molecular weight. We have centrosome, we have cytoplasm, it's a matter of slide. Okay? Then we have a core like it is called as nucleus, you can call it as a remote of the cell, it is called nucleus. Inside the nucleus we have nucleolus, what it is? Nucleolus, where exact DNA, the genetic material is found. The same topic you will be discussing in your grade 9, it is very interesting you know, to know about DNA, the genetic material, how it is. Till for 6th grade you can remember the nucleus. It's a nucleolus, it's a DNA and the outer cover how it is called cell membrane. For nucleus it is called nuclear membrane. Clear? Then we have Golgi complex or Golgi apparatus and we have mitochondria, our house of the cell which we will come to know in detail in mind. And also we have small circular apparatus called vacuoles. Food vacuoles, contact vacuoles, that is the detail. No need to worry about that. Practice this diagram. Know all the labels.
spellings that is enough for grade six. Dear students, I hope you have understood today's session what we discussed about animal cell. Watch the video at least three times, then only you can understand with your headphones. Along with that, simultaneously you have to read the textbook word by word and sentence by sentence. And it's very sad to say that until now I am not listening any of the calls that I have not understood this topic or any of the doubts. You must come forward to ask doubts. If you are not understanding, just give me a call and I can explain you. Or else come to school, we can explain you about different topics. Take the study seriously children. Your annual examination is coming very near. Best wishes. Meet you in my next session. Take care.